Come summer and the capital goes through its annual woes uh, with water and power shortages and several uh, colonies families say they have not had water for four months and are literally held hostage to private tank owners. The politics of water has also played out with the BJP and the Congress accusing each other of the responsibility. Under the shadow of a scorching sun, it's a daily battle for water for people living in the southwest Delhi colony. In Rajnagar Part 2, this is a routine, a beeline at water tankers with buckets, cans and drums of all shapes and sizes. Today we witness no fights, but with water worth liquid gold here, it's not difficult to imagine tempers running high. The government Delhi Jal board tankers can't keep up with the demand and private tankers mean paying money to get the pipes flowing. The average demand of portable water in Delhi is 1,100 million gallons daily. The Delhi Jal board supplies only 800 million gallons daily from its treatment plants. Rajnagar faces a severe crisis because Delhi and Haryana are locked up in a battle over water from the Munak Canal. So the 40 million gallon per day Dwarka treatment plant is not functional. जब दिल्ली में सरकार कांग्रेस की, हरियाणा में सरकार कांग्रेस की और केंद्र में सरकार कांग्रेस की, फिर क्या दिक्कत है? क्यों कमिटमेंट बार-बार गलत हो रहे हैं ये? ये जब 2008 में दिसंबर में इलेक्ट होके आया और दिसंबर 13 आने वाला है, ये केवल इन्हीं तीन महीने में ही सारा प्रोटेस्ट क्या है? ये पैसे जो आज, आज भी उसने चार but experts feel this was a problem waiting around the corner. Solutions were there, but they didn't implement them. Uh, they did not pay attention to any of, neither to, to the wastewater, nor to the rainwater harvesting, nor to the water bodies. None of the, the, these were taken care of. 66 years after independence and citizens still deprived of a basic amenity like water. On one hand, while Munak Kanal issue lies unresolved, political squabbles do not offer any solution either. In New Delhi, Akansha Kumar for NDTV.